I'm John Morton. I've been arranging and composing music for more than 60 years. I need a DAW program such as Logic because I take scores into the program, use software instruments and mix and balance the results to create authentic sounding files. There's no substitute for investing in some high-end instruments, but bearing in mind the array of guitar, keyboard and synth instruments in Logic, it's disappointing to discover there is no bass clarinet, E-flat trumpet, baritone horn or, eu or euphonium. And amazingly, the stock brass have no muted instruments. Old-time composer arrangers like me are sorely neglected. When I started doing all this, I met one or two problems. I usually begin with a score in a notation programme such as the one you're looking at now. At this stage, leave out all markings and dynamics on the score. These can be added later for extracted band parts. I leave the staccato marks in because these can come in useful later and save a lot of time in the piano roll editor in Logic, even though the articulations can be controlled in the software instruments. Save this or export this as a MIDI file and save on the desktop for convenience. Right click on this and select open with Logic Pro. To save time, I've already opened one. Here it is. The stock situation is for Logic to recognise some of the instruments correctly. Others have to be assigned manually. As you can see, the third and fourth trombones are appearing as saxophones, for example. And all the saxophones have defaulted as alto instruments. Nevertheless, save the logic file and the MIDI file can now go in the trash. Apple introduced a new set of trumpet, sax, trombone and string instruments called studio horns and studio strings. One problem with the brass and saxes is that they won't sustain for more than around four seconds although the strings don't suffer from this problem. The factory trumpets, trombones and saxes can be used instead. They don't have this problem. The factory instruments, brass sounds, resemble unison section sounds, creating a wetter effect in voice sections, which can suit some instances. There are fewer articulations available. As we all know, to access the factory brass and sax instruments, you load the sampler, Click on the centre of the plugin, and in my program you have to select Garage Band from the settings menu that pops up. They're all in there. My menu also pulls up some other sound fonts I installed. The next step is to assign the instruments by loading the studio instruments. The selection is made from the window that pops up. Generally, at least nowadays, we leave out vibrato in section writing, except for minimal vibrato in lead instruments, so you may prefer to zero the, vib the vibrato and humanization settings. You can also set the attack and release forms of the envelope here. I think most people will know that to do this with the factory instruments, you do it through the sampler. If you have an older version of um, Logic, you may still have EXS24, which Sampler replaced. The procedure is the same, although the appearance is different. The new Sampler will accept earlier files OK.
Vibrato and other personalised effects can be used on solo instruments, and you may prefer to remove reverb and centre them in the mix to give the impression of being close to the mic or at the front of the imaginary stage. It can be easier to cut and copy solo passages into a new track to do this. You can also produce separate tracks for muted and open brass, for example, because we have to use different instruments in Logic to get a muted sound. I didn't use the option to duplicate the original when I created a new track because I didn't want to use the same attributes on the solo instruments. Studio instruments have more articulations. Right-clicking on them in the Piano Roll Editor brings up a list. The problem that confused me in the early days, and the main reason I posted this video, was that the faders often had a mind of their own. Whatever I tried to do, they would pop back to where they were as soon as I pressed play. This is because the notation program exports information regarding chorus, reverb, volume and pan. The solution is to go into the list editor and delete this information. The information can appear more than once, depending on how many articulation sets there are. However many times the information appears in the particular instrument being used, delete it. It can be removed in the notation program, which you'll probably want to go in here to make sure it's all correct anyway. Here's a score of the finished tracks with volume automation appearing in yellow. So that's it. The only other problem I met is the danger of overmastering band and orchestral music. I spent a long time mastering the track only to decide I preferred the original next morning. With an acoustic idiom such as a band or orchestra, mixing is king. I also avoid overdoing the stereo mix, which can dismantle the carefully considered structure of the orchestration. This video plays out with the arrangement we've been looking at. It's a conventional big band arrangement set in the style of the 50s and was produced to demonstrate basic section and ensemble scoring, counterpoint and rhythm section writing, etc. in my book. It uses only the standard logic per instruments. I hope this video helps a little. Good luck. Thank you.